Hi, Jordan. Uh, my question is, what is the antidote towards toxic masculinity? Well, the, uh, the antidote is responsible masculinity. And, and what does responsible mean? It means, well, it, if you're responsible, then you're trying to do what's honest first. So you're careful with your speech and your actions. You're careful with your speech in that you don't say things that you know to be false. And you're careful in your actions so that you don't have to lie about what you do. That's a good start. You, you want to repeat oh, sorry, that? I'm sorry. Um, I said that didn't cover really a toxic masculinity, right? Because yes, it's you, de no, dealing no, with the you just, you just dealing with the principle just, of reciprocity. No, you, you just said that you, you have to be honest and re respons uh, responsible as a man. Right? Well, put it this way: when I'm giving the spoon back to my granddaughter, I'm not engaging in toxic masculinity. And that was the point that I was trying to make. What precisely, it, since we're going to pursue this? What precisely is toxic masculinity, as opposed to, say, toxic femininity or toxic humanity? What exactly are you asking me about? Well, I really want, I, I really want to know what, what you like, uh, how you would describe to toxic masculinity. Because no, I want you to define what to toxic masculinity constitutes. Since we're going to define things so carefully, let's do it. Uh, well. Okay, so let, before, before we move on, let me point something out, you know, that I was willing to, to undertake this uh, line of discussion, allowing for the possibility that the category of toxic masculinity had some content, right? But if we're, if we're going to pursue that line of reasoning and quibble about the answer, then we're certainly going to quibble about the definition that's embedded in the question. And so part of what's happened in our discourse is that we're required ethically to assume a priori merely out of politeness that the utterance toxic masculinity actually constitutes a meaningful phrase. And if you push it, you find very rapidly that it doesn't because it's very, very, very difficult to define and definitions actually matter. And so if it's a matter of transgressing against the boundaries of gender appropriate behavior, well first of all that indicates that there's something universal and normative about gender appropriate behavior, which is something that people who push the idea of toxic masculinity generally tend not to presume, and second it's just as likely to happen among women as among men, in which case it's not toxic masculinity. So maybe on to the next question. Okay.